Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Don't shout at Filipinos. Filipinos don't like it for a start. Um, but also, you've got to look at the fact that the ones that normally shout the loudest in the Philippines are normally the dangerous ones. Um, if you look at the politics side of it, I've, I've seen things in political rallies, whatever you want to call it, where they're quite aggressive with shouting people down. Um, people are posi higher position do it a lot. But the reason that it affects normal Filipinos a lot is a lot of those people can back it up with some serious threats. Yeah, I'm talking about killing people. So a raised voice is often um, something that people take very seriously. Um, that's why I avoid doing it. I mean, sometimes, like if I have a bad guy doing construction work, I'll say to my wife, I'm just going out for a beer or something. She knows to get rid of it before I come back. Just say, oh, it's all right, don't worry about it, leave. I'm not going to, like, flip out on the guy, but it's easier for my wife to deal with it than myself because they don't like foreigners doing it. Now... There is this whole, whole paranoia about people being scared in case they take them to a tribunal or um, employment law and etc. A lot of the time it's how you deal with it. There's processes for everything and every country is the same. Um, dealing with it in a man is a lot worse than it is in the Philippines. Um, a man is a lot of the time do not want to work. Um, but they're forced to work because of the the way the system's set up because the, the government's trying to make people less reliant on the oil money um, Which means people have to work. They don't want to be there um, So they'll do as little as possible most of the times so anyway With Filipinos just try to be aware of this because squaring up to a Filipino um, can have a negative effect if they feel they've lost face as well especially if you don't know them um, I'll give you an example right um, I wasn't there at the time but somebody told me about this the the owner of the Cadillac cafe I think it was called over in Mactan um, there was a drunk Filipino in his bar and basically he threw the guy out into the street um, now I don't know how aggressive it was but this is why you have to be a little bit careful because the guy left within a week because that got Filipino he thrown out and I says I don't know any details whether somebody got hurt or words were exchanged etc that's why I'm just keeping it very blank but let's put it this way the guy's got the place up for sale and left Mactan because that Filipino was the mayor's son um, I know somebody else who did something similar um, They were shouting at a Filipino down in Davao a while back um, Because he was revving up his Pajero now bearing in mind I know myself when my car is not working properly you but I'm not the best person to come and approach and start shouting at me because I'll probably knock your front row of teeth out because I'm already having enough problems without having somebody give me that in my ear. Um, in this case, the guy pulled a pistol and was going to shoot the guy. Um, he would end up hiding behind the woman in the reception because uh, it was at a hotel because the guy's car is having car problems, but he's trying to fix the car and then this guy's aggressively gone out there telling the guy, do you realize what time it is, blah, blah, blah. Filipinos don't generally bother about time. <laughs> time and noise don't seem to be in the vocabulary. So just accept that as it is. That is the culture. There's no getting away from it. There's no point trying to change it. It just creates more headaches. But one thing you don't do is square up to people you don't know. Um, this guy would have killed him. It wouldn't have. He was lucky the receptionist like sort of calmed the situation down. And it's not the. <sighs> It's quite common. Um, my, my friend Albert had a, something where he wasn't even being aggressive with the guy. Um, this guy was drunk and had been urinating 
in, in view of the woman at the restaurant, this restaurant he was sat in. So he said to the guy, look, you know, there's toilets over there. What's wrong with you? You know, because peeing everywhere is one of the problems in the Philippines. You can have as many bathrooms as you like, but they still like the trees. Um, so he went over and said, look, don't do that. You know, there's toilets over there. What's wrong with you? So the guy was then waiting with his friends outside the restaurant for my mate to leave. Um, he just hopped onto the back of a, uh, but hopped into a taxi and disappeared out of there before they could get a hold of him. The guards had got a taxi for him. That's what I'm saying. Be very careful. You don't know who you're talking to most of the time. Um, and I find this, you won't find many Filipinos raise their voice to you anyway. So what gives you the right to do it to them? Um, just, just be careful. Um, but also be civil. Be, um, be the better person is the, the phrase I would use. I mean, I, I have frustrating days, most days these days, but I don't raise my voice. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> what it is, what it, it is, what it is. There's no point in getting wound up about it. Um, you've got to work a solution into it, not create another problem. So be careful. All right. Thanks for watching.